favorite moment. Sip the story. Welcome to Wusha World's Tea House. I'm your host, Yoj. And I'm Toki. Toki, 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 guess what? We have a big title today. Ah, ba, 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 na, na. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Ba, 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 na, na. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Are you okay? What the fuck is wrong? Are you okay? Ba, 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 na, na. <laughs> Okay, we're just oh, gonna let him God. keep singing. Um, welcome to the madhouse. I mean, welcome to the tea house, banana. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Welcome, Hi. banana. <laughs> Thanks for making up that uh, song. Yeah, that's an honor of you. So why don't we uh, start off with having you introduce yourself to the community very briefly? Hi everyone, I'm Banana Choco Pie. Uh, I have uh, my novel on Usia World, uh, Soul Land Five: The Rebirth of Kang San. It, it is already out, and uh, yeah, you know, check it out. All right. I definitely agree. It's fun. It is one hundred percent fun. You guys should all check it out if you haven't. So, um, what did you do before you got into translating? Uh, I've been working in advertising, so basically selling oh, wow. people things that they don't need. Uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't describe it like that. You are convincing put, me to yeah. get over my hesitation to buy, okay? That's what you're doing. You are convincing right. me to buy what I want, but I was stopping myself. <laughs> <laughs> and tracking you through your web browsing. So that's what I do. That's one of the things that I'm actually good at. So, yeah, that's, that's what I do. I see, I see. Well, how long have you been translating then? If you were in advertising, then how about translating? How how long have you been in this? Uh, I've uh, I've been translating, but not fiction, not uh, web novels. I've been doing translations mm -hmm. for like boring stuff, business proposals, contracts, okay, uh, those like articles and that things like boring. that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, and think, I think that'd be like harder. It's it harder? it's harder, but once you know the terms, it's a lot oh. easier. You don't have to make people interested because mm. when you're translating fiction you're translating a novel you want people to enjoy reading that's and true. business that's stuff true. That's nobody true. reads through the terms and conditions nobody so like <laughs> i can oh, make it as boring you know? maybe maybe i'm secretly reading every terms and condition i've ever checked yes on <laughs> <laughs> you you would be a champ if you do that <laughs> no i've never actually read the whole thing <laughs> so wait how how did you get into wuxia role then if you are translating boring corporate stuff, how did you get into Wuxia world and translating fiction? Uh, so, uh, opportunity came up. Uh, I was like uh, looking for a new gig and thinking, should I do advertising for the rest of my life? Do I need a break? You know, do I want to look mm -hmm. so do something different? And I was mm -hmm. like, translation seems fun. And especially if it's a novel and I love novels. I read both published and web novels and things like that. So, uh, Cozy, one of the Korean uh, site translators. Uh, she my is boss. a very ah. She's she, my boss. My boss. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did not know that she. We have been and friends. She's the boss of this podcast too. <laughs> yeah. No shit talking oh, wow. about Cozy on this one. <laughs> she, she's. Yeah. We have been friends since for almost ten years. I think since twenty. Uh, wow. Twenty ten. Twenty oh nine. So we have known each other since then. And um, mm. yeah, she has always been uh, giving me advice on like, uh, you know, uh, come and do some translations. And then I've always been like, okay, but mm. maybe I was hesitant because I, I didn't know what it's going to be like. It's completely new to mm. me. So I was a bit mm. worried, you know, but uh, I just decided to take a leap of faith in like uh, on, in December, I think, uh, or earlier. Mm. And then I started mm. uh, and I was given a choice of novels and Solan, I saw Solan and I was just like, oh my god, that is uh -huh. the novel. Nice. Are you enjoying it so far? It is really fun. Uh, and I work mm. with Penguin, so uh, the fun oh. becomes mm. maybe uh, 80% instead of 100%. Any uh, tea you want to spill on Penguin <laughs> since you're on? You know? She, she just did. You've already... she, she said that the fun is from 100% down to 80%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, uh, I think Penguin would 
probably kill me with a small spoon. Um, that's one of his favorite things. Uh, oh, I you with a small spoon. Yeah, with a tiny spoon. Uh, I think oh. he has to do with you know what? Because I'm new, right? So I'm uh-huh. tend to make mistakes mm-hmm. and things like that. And uh, he is very clear and very specific, and he has very high standards. So the mm-hmm. novel is in very good hands when it okay. reaches uh, mm-hmm. publication. That like, is in very good hands because well, Penguin bad. is just. Yeah, he's great for the reader. Uh, maybe as a translator, <laughs> a bit more stressed, but uh, he's been really good. And we have gotten into an easy uh, banter. You know, he'll be like, uh, why the hell is it translated like this? You know, what is the author trying to say? And uh, we just go through it and we make jokes about it. And I think we are fine now. Maybe uh, less scared of him on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, oh, you are scared I- of him. Yeah, oh, like okay, but to be fair, yeah. me too. When he messages me, he goes yo, and I'm like, oh shit, what did I do now? And I'm not yeah. even a translator. <laughs> he's like, he's like, hey, but and then I see uh, penguin is typing, and I'm just like, okay, <laughs> let's take a deep breath. Um, kind of biting your nails, wondering what he's gonna say. But then you haven't, you haven't experienced real horror yet. <laughs> <laughs> During my first few chapters of uh, Soul and yeah. Five. Uh, I just woke up to my inbox and then it's like uh, Penguin has commented on your chapter and I open it up, open up the Google Docs and it's just like highlight after highlight after highlight. It's like the whole page oh, is highlights. No. Uh, I can't even see my text to be honest. It's just a whole page of highlights and I'm just like, oh my God. But I think we are got, getting into you know a way of working. Less scary now. Maybe uh, from uh, 10 now we are a bit like 7. Still scared but less mm-hmm. scared. <laughs> Then, then what about um? Do you read any uh any other novels on Wusha World? Uh, I've read um I've been catching up on Beyond the Timescape, really good stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. Death Blade is a uh, okay. legend, and then I've also read a uh, completed one called uh, Battle Through the Heavens. It was part oh. of my uh learning on the, um how to translate better, like learning from all these um grandmasters of the translation. But so that was homework. Okay. That's good. Really good. Um, so yeah, like Beyond Timescape, Battle Through the Heavens. I, I'm catching up on new ones too. There's a lot of loads of uh, Korean novels, which I can't mm-hmm. read in this original form. So mm-hmm. I would love mm-hmm. to read more if I don't, uh, if I get time away from <laughs> uh, the time. doing Soul and Fire. Nah, us translators will never have time. But uh, Banana. Do you have any challenges when translating? Because for me, personally, it was always translating like Korean idioms into English and localizing them. Like, what are your challenges? Yeah, those are the things, right? Like, um, one of the things that I found really hard was all the uh, Chinese sayings and right? uh, Chinese uh, mm-hmm. yeah, idioms, like you mentioned. And also don't some translate like... translate very well into English. Yeah, and some inside jokes, you know, like internet mm. slang uh, in the Chinese mm-hmm, community. Yeah. How are you gonna put that into Wait, what's your the novel? craziest one? What's what's the craziest um, joke that you came up, like came across on your novel? Uh, jokes? Uh, I I don't really have jokes, but like you know, because uh, the Chinese novels they are very stringently uh, monitored uh, when it's in their original platforms, so they use uh different characters to make sure that it passes the checks. So sometimes when I read it, it's like, what does this even mean? And uh, it end, ends up being like, uh, for English, I'll just translate it as um, for like what's going on, you know, like um, they will put NM mm-hmm. for uh, Nima, which is like your mother, but like uh, they just <laughs> put that in and then I'm just like, what is this? And, and you, you just see loads of this kind of um, little things here and there uh, Yeah, okay. when, when it comes to it. And yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. Well, speaking of hard, are there any struggles or stress about working on such a big IP? Because you yes. mentioned just now that that was a difficult part, right? So does the fact that this is a huge IP like put more pressure on you to perform? Definitely. There's like existing fandoms, you know, not just for the novels, but mm-hmm. also uh, in the manhua, in um, even like the TV show. And mm. especially mm-hmm. is the fifth installment or rather, you know, it's Ooh. the f- official fifth yeah. title in, in the entire Soul and um, universe. There's already so many um, pre- 
well, how pre-translated terms that are already in the fandom that I mm. can't just really, uh, nearly, you know, just pick up my own uh, way of changing terms. So I have to really go into the fandom um, and look oh. at how the people have been using those terms and uh, whenever it is being used, you know, since Soul and 1 it, or 2 or 3 or 4, I have to uh -huh. um, follow that like... too. I felt like it would have been easier if you already have a pre-established glossary. But if there's like four books previously, then I guess not. Because you really have, you're pressured to stick to the existing glossary instead of just referring back to it. Yeah, like that's, that's right. uh, it's, it's great because sometimes, um, all respect to like, you know, past translators, sometimes I look at hmm. uh, the first the first book is not on Wuxia World, so uh, no, I can not. just say that some of the skills, um, or rather the terms that are being translated, they were done really like, uh, I think it was back back in the early days of uh, web novel translations. So the translations were like kind of awkward sounding, but I uh -huh. want to make them sound more friendly, more elegant, but at the same time, it's already so established in the fandom, I can't just mm. pluck it out and um, change it. So that becomes a a bit of a, a struggle like do i make things sound better but um i tend to lean towards um loyalty to the fan base because if they really okay, know that's the fair. skill that's fair that's fair i agree with there too oh wait wait <laughs> our producer is telling us that we need to go on an ad break now <laughs> all right so then before we dive into Solon 5, we'll be right back after this break. Let's take a quick pause and talk about a different novel for real quick before we continue on with the episode. Hey, Yoj, what ad are we doing today? Are we gonna do another one of those AI voiceovers? <laughs> no, we're listening to feedback and we are not doing that. Instead, we're gonna be ad-libbing about a new novel releasing today. The regressor can make them all. Oh, is that the new blacksmithing novel? Yeah, but you know, personally, whenever I hear the title, it kind of reminds me of Pokemon. The catch, like, you know, song, Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Who's that Pokemon? What the hell? Because me? Yes! Anyways, though, the editor Sai kind of described it as overgeared, but then he instantly took it back once the translator Kyokon was like, hey, still ongoing in Korea. So, who knows? Oh, okay. I love Overgeared. I mean, I think I told you before, right? That's what got me to Wish World in the first place. I follow Overgeared all the way to the website. <laughs> oh, wow. But I, you know, I don't want to give hope to the Overgeared fans because I think this is just slightly different. It's about Lee Seun, the blacksmith who fought, in the, who fought with demons till the world end. And then he gets like a second chance. So he comes back and he goes to hero school. And this time he's ready to use anything to win. Okay, so he's like a regressor, time traveling, blacksmith, overgeared hero, Pikachu. Yes, exactly that. And he is absolutely determined to rewrite his fate this time around. So it's got, you know, like action, adventure, even a touch of nostalgia. Okay, that sounds interesting. Well, by the way, to all the listeners, the regressor can make them all is out now, like today. So you can read it for free on wushaworld.com. And trust me, it's gonna be a wild ride. So, Banana, have hmm. you read the Soul series before? Like, have you oh, read any of Soul the- Land. Oh, <laughs> sorry. The Soul series. Have yeah, you Soul read Land. the Soul Land series? <laughs> and if I haven't read it, do you think I need to read the previous ones to jump into it? Or can I just go straight into like Soul Land 5? Uh, I okay. So to answer your first question, uh, I have read Soul and One, uh, uh -huh. and bits of Soul and Two and Three and Four here and there. Mm. Uh, mm. Soul and One back when it was released, which is like in the twenty tens. So that was like oh, a wow, long time ago. ago. Yeah, and um, there's two answers to whether you need to read um all of the books before you start on um five. So mm -hmm. the first answer is uh you know like some people like to do uh, all the missions in a game before they. They, they finish it, right? So completionist mm. Uh, mm. option is to read um, Soul Land 1, 2, 2.5, 3. I believe there's a 3.5 as well. Oh and my then God. Four, and then sounds five. like a side quest. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. So you, if you need to be that kind of person who finish all the side quests before you consider the game done, 
then mm. you need you you mm-hmm. should read uh, every single novel. But um, on my end, because I have jumped through like a few of the novels, mm. and uh, mm. Tang San, the main character, he's most prominent in Soul and One, and then for mm. two, three, four, there's a lot mm. more about his children, his grandchildren. Oh. And okay. their universes. You do see uh, snapshots of uh, him and his wife Xiao in in those novels, uh, mm-hmm. leading up to Soul and Five. But uh, Soul and Five is like uh, Tang San is back. So oh. for me, oh. yeah, for me it's like if you want to, you can read the first novel. Uh, if you don't want to, you can just read Soul and Five. Um, Tang Jia San Sao, the author, has been very very uh, good at giving a basis, a background on Soul and Five, on what has happened in the past and why we came to this uh, oh. very clearly. So technically, you can start with Soul and Five. It, okay. That's the second option. Okay, well, now tell us about the novel Soul and Five without spoiling, though. Like, no, 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 no. Spoilers. Spoilers. I love spoilers. Ignore him. Spoil it. No, go get spoil a boyfriend. It. Ask him to spoil it. <laughs> like, no spoilers for this novel. Okay? Listen! <laughs> Listen, I don't need. I could just ask Banana for a spoiler, and I'll get spoiled without having to go find a boyfriend. Look at that. No, you, you you can go call her later, but not here. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it for everyone. I Hi. totally understand uh, spoilers because I'm the kind of person, uh, a bit uh, psychotic, who likes to read the last chapter before <gasps> I even Banana, progress through the first. We are no. We are not psychopaths. We are. We just like to know where it's gonna end. You know, we enjoy right? the journey. Right? Like, does everybody end happily ever after? Does you know right. anything happen? I need to know. Feathers, legs, the feather likes to fuck. The Why are you? <laughs> He's ignoring <laughs> us. He's ignoring. <laughs> uh, fine. Yeah, okay. Right. Since right. Cookie is like the host today, yeah, Lulu, without Lulu, spoiling. Lulu. Okay. No spoilers. <laughs> uh, so fine. Tang San, uh, who has. Uh, because in past novels, this is not a spoiler. This is a spoiler for maybe Soul and Four. So Xiao oh, okay. uh, has, it. yeah. So Xiao has uh, sacrificed herself, and um, basically she is to be found in the universe. And Tang San, who has mm-hmm. also sacrificed himself, uh, he has this stream of divine consciousness that brings him around the universe, around, and finally settling on a planet called Falun Planet. Uh, Mm-hmm. and um, called the Daemon uh, Continent. And that's where he starts his journey to find Xiao Wu. That's, and he has many new different uh, skills. Some are throwback to his original skills in the previous novels, and some are oh. very new ones. And it's new ways that he learned his skills as well, uh, rather than mm-hmm. through uh, soul reigns and things like that, like he uh, martial souls and... It's very uh dif- very different, I would say. Like it's a good um s- starter novel if you want to jump in without reading all the old uh, older stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So you start off with like you know when is he gonna find Xiao? What kind of friends is he gonna uh, is he gonna make? Like what kind of obstacles mm-hmm. is he gonna face? And uh, all the trials and how it's gonna. Uh, play out. Uh, I'm doing my best not to spoil it because there's so many exciting okay. stuff inside. Then yeah. I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there so that you don't spoil it any further. I mean, I will continue going with you, but I know some people are okay. very picky. I'll let spoiler, you guys so. spoil the first few chapters. Just a teaser. Yeah, Just like how teaser. did you feel when you start yeah. reading the first few chapters? Like, what did you think about it? Like, spoil the first the- five chapters. The first few chapters, you just come in and uh, Tang San is reborn on a new planet and uh-huh. uh, he basically has a very uh, poorly uh, mother on that planet and it turns oh, out okay. uh, he is, he's a baby he basically gets born from like a newborn it's not oh. like he, he gets into a, a fully grown man's uh, body like, <laughs> okay. he just, okay. he, yeah he just gets born and uh, he so finds he out that all over again yeah he had to grow up all over again and in that continent in on Falun planet Humans oh. are treated very, very poorly. They are seen as well, slaves, sucks. as meat, um, and um, yeah, like you know. Wait, um, wait, wait! As meat? Yeah, as meat. Like so to, to be eaten like... yeah, as food, oh, which is okay. kind of oh. um, a big start. You know, it was quite a big like oh. uh, wow. <laughs> okay. That yeah, that is very definitely disturbing. what. What did you, so oh, okay, definitely... I was going to ask? How did you think about it? But you said it disturbing. 100%. I would say it's disturbing uh, for most readers. For me, it's mm-hmm. less so because uh, of my, you know, huh? um, I a bit like, 
I'm a bit like psychotic, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's nothing to me. It's just like okay, okay. humans, uh, cannibalism, great. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, wonderful they to know. Me. They. <laughs> I'm trying to push past that part. Uh, uh, on the continent, is basically uh, governed by demons and nymphs. Mm-hmm. Nymphs. Mm-hmm. So okay. demons are more of the uh, animal variety. So in the first uh, few chapters, we meet like pig demons. We meet wolf demons. So in the that's in the first mm-hmm. uh, in in the first few chapters, and then later and on pig milk. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a uh, pig. Uh, yeah, basically, Tang San gets a uh, nurse milk, with yeah. uh, by milk, pig, yeah. pig milk. Yeah, because uh, basically he got taken away and into like a place where all the children are left to either mm-hmm. thrive or die. That's the only thing. Like it's a very cruel world that he was reborn into, and uh-huh. um, yeah, you see in the first few chapters like how he managed to survive, and you wonder like you know. What is happening with Xiao Sai? You know what's going to happen to her? Like you know, is is she doing well? This whole part, the first few chapters, you, like Tang San, you are wondering what's going to happen to Xiao. Was is she okay? You know, is she being treated mm-hmm. like like how Tang San is being treated and things like that? So, yeah, the first five chapters, um, very pretty intense. I would say you get thrown Clearly, into the world yeah. directly. Yeah, and very different so I, from I, the Oso then. Yeah, uh-huh. I I read the first few chapters i'm actually following this series and um one thing that really stood out to me was the author is he he pays a lot of attention to world building character building and things like that so there's a lot of like interesting like how the map is laid out that was quite interesting to me there's like lots of um uh cities he 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 builds a really good wall i would say tanjasan so he's I mean, he's experienced at this. So he builds out the entire demon continent, like, you know, who governs where, you know, how many cities go to the demons, you know, uh, who the ranks of the demons. And where is what, yeah. Yeah, like there's lots direction. of stuff. Yeah. And, hi- and hierarchy, even with among the demons, uh, and even among the humans as well, like, you know, humans who are mixed blood. So if a human and uh, is, is born from a demon and human, they will inherit some powers, transformation. Mm-hmm. So let's say if it's a wolf, you know, he will gain some uh, wolf abilities. And in the first few chapters, we see uh, the wind wolves. Basically, they control the element of wind. Uh-huh. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's the town where Tang San is born. And, um, wait, 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 wait. So like, when, because like there's such a big world building going on and you have all of these demons and different demons. How are yes. you picturing the scenes when you're translating then? Because it seems like a lot is going on. Do you like picture the background and the character? Does it like all jumble up? And you're just like, how are you thinking and imagining when you're translating? So for me, I have a very active imagination. Like I really sink into <laughs> stories, oh. not just for when translating, but you know, when I'm reading and stuff, I'm basically Tang San in the wall. And I'm oh, thinking, wow. what's next? Yeah, like what am huh. I feeling? What's my next objective? What do I care about? Like, you know, right now, like, is it survival? Is it, mm-hmm. ultimately it's about Xiao, right? The whole story huh. is about finding Xiao. So for me, when I go into a chapter, I kind of look through and um, come up with like a little timeline on what happens in the chapter and uh-huh. um, understand, ah, okay, so this is what happens. And I actually did that for uh, the entire novel already. Nobody needs wow. to know that, but uh, I've already <laughs> finished reading the entire Soul and Five within like a weekend. So it was a bit a bit mad, uh, but I did a whole timeline uh, of what events happen and when things happen all the way to the end. So we are very, very well prepared, I would say, on that end. Um, okay, I have yeah. another question then, off script. How do you keep in mind, the, like, you know, not spoiling? Because see, when we started this podcast, I was promised spoilers. And so far, everyone has been like, no, 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 we, we can't spoil the novel on the podcast. And no one has given me spoilers so far. And I'm quite upset because you're telling me you like spoilers you- and Penguin likes spoilers, but no spoilers on the podcast allowed. Do you want one spoiler? That. Do you want one no. spoiler? No, because then Tokyo's no, gonna get mad. No, fire away. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm not. I, I'll, I'll let you have your spoiler. Don't worry. I'll oh, let okay. You have your give spoiler. me my spoiler, Banana. Give me my spoiler. Tang San is going to find Xiao very soon. He's oh. going to find her very soon. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Usually right. things drag out for hundreds of chapters before they meet, but uh-huh. not in this novel. Okay. In this novel, within. 20, 30 chapters, you should be able to see Xiao very soon. 
But okay. I'm not gonna tell you how she turns out and what kind of life she's leading. I'm not gonna tell you. All right, oh, you that's okay. That's okay. Yourself. I know. I know that they're gonna meet up very soon, so we're okay there. Um, <laughs> my favorite scene was the end of chapter five and the start of chapter six. But of course, like we're not gonna spoil it, right? But uh, I found like for a regressed baby trope, the author didn't waste time. Like he got straight into it. Yes, yeah. yeah, which is great because nobody wants mm -hmm. to read about his baby years for the first hundred chapters, which I respected. Like you know, there are points mm -hmm. where he raised like, okay, so this is an event that happened when he was three, when he was five. It's it works, like, you know, because you don't really want a full growing up process from him from zero years to ten years. Like, it's it's going to take so long and people are going to not want to read it and skip ahead. So, yeah, mm. like, um, chapter five and chapter six, I, to be honest, like, uh, I can't recall what happened at the top of my head. Oh, uh, just to refresh your memory, but of course we can't spoil it. Uh, that's the forest scene, like later. Oh, night, the forest scene where yeah, he finds yeah. the guy. Okay. Well, I yeah. can't yeah. join in this yeah. conversation because nobody is not spoiling it for me. But fine. Oh, you were still here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I wasn't off daydreaming about my perfect man. I was still here and participating, just quietly. Well, okay, I have a question for you, Banana. Uh, what is your favorite scene, like? It's, I know it's difficult if you if you're like you try not to spoil it, but then she's already done with the novel. Scene? Well, uh, to be honest, like uh, if we are still keeping within the first few chapters, right? Um, the scene of um, the humans. So basically, all the human mothers of uh, these transformed children, basically with mixed blood, once they awaken mm -hmm. their powers, the mothers are killed in a sacrificial uh ceremony and i think that's mm -hmm. one of my favorite scenes Why? Is a bit, uh yeah i know it's a bit disturbing but i do enjoy <laughs> no, that no, like, there, oh. i agree with her that, that's a that's a good scene because um, oh, okay it kind of shows right. the there's an excellent like a character building for the yes. main character for the mc okay so i, I definitely know what she means but then we're not oh, gonna okay. spoil it again yeah okay, okay. <laughs> yeah like you, you really okay no spoilers but you really get like his motivations on why i think it serves mm -hmm. as a catalyst on why he yep. decides to make so many decisions um after that later on yeah, yeah. later on because of the brutality kind of like that forms who he is yeah and and that's such a powerful like uh start and I, I i really enjoyed that scene uh not enjoyed might not be the best word but like i did enjoy uh translating that scene because it was uh <laughs> yeah like when i put it in emotions, the there. Yeah. yeah when i checked it <laughs> oh, okay. i was just like okay is this uh suitable for youth consumption i was just like okay uh but okay. fun intense and you will feel things i think uh, you, you'll you'll have feelings emotions when you're reading it so that's good so before we move on to the next part, I do just want to um, emphasize something real quick. I know that we don't offer Soland 4, right? And the yes. reasoning for that was because the, there's just, the fan translation is just so far ahead that it's not worth yeah, it like, for our current readers to reread the same thing until we catch up, right? Yeah, that that's a question. Yeah, that's a question that keep uh, coming up because we have two and uh, so and two and so then three, and mm -hmm. uh, so then four. Yeah, like the reason that you gave, like uh, there are, there's a nine hundred chapter I believe fan translation, oh, wow. and um, on our end is uh, yeah, like I believe it was a business decision not to uh, take that on. So that's that mean that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go to. A small mini segment that we prepared that we haven't done in the previous episodes. You're our guinea pig, <laughs> banana. We, we pulled a few comments, just just a little bit, from uh, okay. the Solan Solan Five, and uh, first one. You want to read it, Yoj? No, but okay. So we have this comment <laughs> from UUQ. The ultimate challenge for Isekai MCs being reborn in a baby's body. Ah, I see what you mean now, banana. You said he was reborn in a banana, a baby. I'm reborn in a banana. A <laughs> banana body. <laughs> well, poor guy if he gets reborn into a banana. Only personal. <laughs> and he grew up to become bananas body. in pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on. Stop teasing me, Toki. That's my job. You can't take my job. 
Yeah. Oh wait, uh, am so I reading the next all of one it? is <laughs> no. Uh, the the next one is if the MC re reborns as a banana. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, stop it. Okay. So the next one is from uh, our paragraph commenting. It says, um, the paragraph is, while he hadn't held high hopes of being reincarnated into a wealthy family. Okay. That's like oddly realistic. He also hadn't prepared for the desperate situation he was born into. Is this yeah. the end? Is this a story that will end before the first chapter is finished? And uh, Kenjo Hao said... Definitely should try ending a novel in the first chapter. Is this even be for the first Wouldn't chapter? Wouldn't that be a joke where uh, he's reborn as a baby and then someone just kills him because he's a baby oh, and he's like... helpless? And then that's the end, the rebirth of Tang San. One Not chapter end. complete. <laughs> The shortest novel. That's a short story at that point. One chapter short story. One shot. Yeah. Uh. Short. Oh, you're right. So one short. Yeah, oh, love it, love it. We have to and build then... it up, right? We have to build mm -hmm. it up, like you know, it's so sad, it's so mm -hmm. scary, you know, like what is he gonna do next? How is he gonna get out of his adversity? You know, that's kind of the point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can't have the main character die and not come back alive immediately. Ah. I, I would, I would say this is a novel that you want to read when you're tired from a day's work because uh, okay, okay. Tang San. If you know him, he keeps uh -huh. winning. Okay, like that's oh. not a spoiler. He has been winning for the for his whole like um he's life a since. Yeah, he's a winner. He's the kind of like he's... character that you wish you are as a person. Oh. Okay. So uh, like that keeps winning, and basically like you know anyone who uh, looks down on, upon him, or whatever, he proves them wrong. So that's why I say it's great when you're tired from day's work mm -hmm. or studying, and it's like, oh my god, I'm not good as uh, I'm not as good as anybody else. Tang San is the guy. Is like. You can self-insert into like his character, and he keeps winning. He mm -hmm. keeps proving people wrong, and he gets like he's basically oh, he's a great he's character a to be. Then okay, he's a great main character, the main character that everyone should hope to be. Yes, in your yeah. own lives. Yes, got it. Okay, and then let's wrap up this new segment with a compliment to the translating team. So we have, I'm so sorry if I butcher this, Sir Reggae Cross. He says. It's nice to see names being consistent across novels and translators. Thanks for the hard work. Good job, Banana. Aww, good job, I am so <laughs> We did so much like uh, work to look at how the names were translated in the past. Uh, mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we bring it into Soul Line 5 and uh, the reading is kept consistent throughout. So I'm glad to hear that compliment. Yay! I haven't read that yet, so... Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. We spoiled the comment in the section for you then. My bad. But hey, you're like me. We like spoilers. <laughs> and it was a good one. So it's always it great. It was a good spoiler. It's yes, always great. It's a good compliment. Yeah, it's a great to hear compliments as a translator. It's like, I, I am very motivated by that. That made my day. Very so happy. our readers, we like compliments, okay? Not just thank yous. Not simple thank yous. We like compliments. <laughs> <laughs> Pokey, edit that out. <laughs> They're going to come after me. <laughs> yeah, you Be heard honest. her. You be heard honest. her. Comment properly, or else Yoji is gonna come after you. You can be honest, even though like something, just say it. You know, like yeah, I'm, yeah. I need to say that, right? Like, um, no, guys, be, we like yeah. compliments and praises. I think there's a particular <laughs> word for that, but we'll keep it PG. <laughs> yeah, but huge thanks um to the person who gave the compliment. Sarah like, Cross. Uh, if if you're Sarah Gay Cross, Sarah, Cross, Sarah Gay Cross, like Sarah Gay Cross. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much for, you know, noticing the detail that we went into. It's not just like, uh, this is great, you know, but more of like, you realize like uh, how we went the into detail. The work that and... goes in to being yeah, consistent. Like, it, that's a great compliment. Thank you for mm -hmm. sharing that. All right, moving on. Final yeah. segment of the day. Our Would You Rather corner. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Wait, why is your enthusiasm lacking, at Banana? Come on, you got a better cheer than that. She's not I... drunk like you, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I, I have like two cups of coffee in me and probably going to the third after this, so like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Anyway, this question um, is from Edvo. Edvo is a queen. Before I got into translating, I read Evo's vlog, uh, blog and everything about what it takes to become a translator. 
amazing. Oh, um, okay, then. we actually have okay. episode three, which is part two of Edvo. So we'll check that out later. That. All right, then. Here is Queen Edvo's question for you. Would you rather reincarnate as the most odious young master in your current novel, or would you rather transmigrate into the female lead? Assuming, assuming that the next guest is male. If the next guest is female, then, you know, swap the genders around. Yep, yep. In my opinion, a little bit tame, especially in comparison to Penguin's question, but still. Oh. A pretty but, nice would you rather question. I think like uh re reborn into like um the what what is the word that you use? Uh odious. Yeah. Young master. Reincarnate as the most odious young master or transmigrate as the male lead. I I would um pick the first option, even though it's yeah, yeah like why not, right? The point of the young master is that he's rich, he can do whatever he wants. Wait, like, well, you were telling me that your MC was basically the main character everyone should hope to be in their main life, in their life. You know, he's the winner. He wins yeah, everything. He, he has to struggle, right? Like, ah, to money get talks, those, okay. Yoj. Yeah, money I, talk. I, yeah, like, <laughs> I don't want to struggle, right. you know? Like, okay, we, okay. we all have to struggle, but I don't want to struggle. I just want to be born into generational wealth and have oh. a trust fund. So... Options yeah. of money reach, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. <That's> crazy rich <laughs> Asian. <laughs> right. At both, so, this okay. question was too tame. I have an issue with the question. It was too Thank tame. You, what about you, Yoj? What about you? What's your choice? Well, What's your pick? I would also like to be born into money. Duh. See? <laughs> Wrong See? answer. Try again. <laughs> no. Well, maybe, maybe if I'm the male lead, like, and I'm in the winner of life, maybe I could get my own money and I don't have to deal with like family obligation plus money. That's oh, wait, no, true. Sure. That's true. You can be your own boss, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't yeah. have to be like, mama, papa, can I have my monthly mm -hmm. allowance, please? Mm -hmm. So, that my so which one is your pick? I would still like to be the young master. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the, the pocket money is like a million a month, then it's just like, yeah, it's okay. To I don't have to struggle for it. It's okay, I'll take it. <laughs> You've been saying that I like to be spoiled, you know? I'm not disagreeing. I like to be spoiled. So yes, I will be a young master. Yeah, with your lackeys and everything, you know, just following you wherever you go. Awesome. Yeah, I will what be spoiled. <laughs> Banana, I, I think you already got the young master vibe because you were like calling him lackeys instead of your butlers and me. <laughs> Followers, maybe, but lackeys is a good word. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like something an odious young master would say. Exactly. <laughs> I'm secretly a young master. Yes, this Banana guy. is secretly a young master. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Banana. So my, uh, clearly I am unsatisfied with this very tame question. So now you have to give the next guest a very amazing question. Penguin level amazing. Penguin, oh. Like above Penguin. You, you gotta yeah. do, you gotta one up him, you know? Yeah, you gotta one up him, you, you know? Can't lose. You gotta, There's a competition, you can't lose to your let's editor. go. No, no, you gotta be like, ha, Penguin, my question was better. And Send the Penguin back to Antarctica. You. Yeah, is whenever he, he comes he... to you with like the small spoon, you'd be like, well, guess what? My would you rather question was better. <laughs> Channel your inner psychopath, you know, come up with the craziest yes, thing that we go. put on our Wusha World Tea House Hall of Fame. This whole episode, you, know? you were saying that you are a psychopath. Prove it to me. Okay, so would you rather your partner be a mermaid with a fish head and human <laughs> body or human head and fish body? Okay. There are implications to this. There are implications to this. Okay. Like you have to be with them and live with them with, as your partner. So would you oh, like okay. them have a fish head or fish body? Like, you know, there are implications that I shall not mention because this is a um, you friendly podcast. But think is about it really it. though? No, our audiences are like in their 20s and 30s. <laughs> Oh yeah. You so know, like episode one, we started talking about destroying someone's Uranus. Okay, there was no we. That was all you. Stop dragging me into that. Nah, you're like you're, you're 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 my accomplice. Yeah. Yeah. And then episode two, we were talking about girls and basements. We're on a oh, great yeah. start. Yeah, like so, you know, 
do you want to like kiss a human face or you know <laughs> a fish face like in bed like imagine you know like a um, fish head and human body but the alternative is human really hot mermaid mm. but <laughs> the body is a fish with a mm. tail and scales and everything uh. oh, so that's yeah question, like, actually yeah that's, that's a, a bit of a is a disturbing question. You asked me to think of something disturbing, so you can't think. Yeah, me yeah I, you you delivered. You delivered. Good job. You delivered. Ten out of good ten. Job, good job. Yay. We'll definitely ping you up when we get the uh, reaction of the next guest. Mm -hmm. nice. When they react, like when they hear this question. Oh, by the way, uh, Banana. Yeah. Who's managing your novel? Uh, GT. She is amazing. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, she knows code coding and excel yep. and stuff so really she smart. is amazing and you know what else she is about what she's our, our next, next guest, guest. <laughs> oh awesome <laughs> she's gonna love it <laughs> i i see the the link now <laughs> oh. if that wasn't on purpose it just lined up like that but it lined up perfectly and we are the very stars happy aligned it. yes it yeah. did I'm afraid of right, uh... <laughs> If you want to change your question, if you want to one up the question, if you want to make it crazier for GT, you can't make it go free. down, though. You, can you can't make it tamer. W yep, you gotta make you gotta go up. You can't make wow. it tame, though. Yeah, uh, if I think of something good, I will uh, drop you guys a message. Okay. You, all Sounds right. good. Love this question. Yeah. Alrighty then, that is a wrap for us today. It was amazing having you with us today and I absolutely loved it. So thank you so much. You guys are so like fun. We loved having you. So do you have <laughs> no, anything? That was so you... soulless. <laughs> you guys are so <laughs> <sighs> fun. You guys are so fun! Oh my god, yes. so yes. amazing. Yes. This is what we want. Yes. Amazing work, amazing energy, amazing hosts. <laughs> You know, everybody should oh, okay. listen to this podcast. Okay, okay, enough. Do you have anything you want to say to the community before you go? Uh, Besides thanks. the fact that we are amazing? Yeah, like, uh, you guys are amazing. <laughs> and uh, the community has been really supportive and uh, amazing too. And uh, I hope they will um, keep uh, reading Soul and Five and any uh, surprise new novels that I might be working on or might not be. Nobody needs to know. Uh, wow. Yeah. Thank you for the support. Yes. Yay! Thank you for having All thank right. you for joining us today. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming on board today. Alrighty. Thank, thank you. you for your time, Banana. Thank you, guys. Bye. And that's Bye. Up. Next week on Wuxia World's Tea House. I mean, let's be honest, our whole show is chaotic. <laughs> Have you guys heard like Toki being like, destroy your Uranus? I mean, I only heard the new new, and I'm like, what the heck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's how we roll. Thanks for joining us on Wuxia World's Tea House. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit the follow button to stay updated with our latest releases. If you want more tea, hop over to our social media or Discord, or Send us an email if you want to spill tea. We'll be back every first and third Friday of the month. Check out our website, wushaworld.com. See you in the next episode. Bye.